The brakes have been put on the controversial extension of Roe Highway. The Federal Environment Minister has delayed his decision on the project that will cut through the Belia wetlands. It's a bump in the road the Transport Minister didn't see coming for WA's most contentious road project. He was expecting the green light from the Federal Environment Minister for the Roe Highway extension. My understanding is that all environmental processes have been signed off, and that, and that, including the Federal. The Federal Minister wants more information on the four-lane, five-kilometre road that will take Roe Highway to Stock Road. How can you consistently fail to be across the most basic of details? I have been advised since this morning that the... Uh, the federal government has had to delay because of a political stunt by Scott Ludlam. The minister wants more information on the four-lane, five-kilometre road that will take Roe Highway to Stock Road. We know that 100 hectares of bushland will be destroyed. It does have environmental approval from the state government. For every hectare of bushland which is disturbed, at least three hectares of fully restored Carnaby cockatoo habitat has to be provided. Bridges through these dry swamps will be built from the top down. The minister says that will minimise the environmental impact. Native flora species will be rehabilitated, the water quality improved. Contracts are due to be signed in October. Melville Council supports it. Excuse me, excuse me. Surrounding councils don't. You don't seem to handle it too well, Simone, I notice. OK. Josh Yerger, Nine News.